The Panthers just announced a couple minutes ago that Sam Darnold will start in Week 12 uh, over Baker Mayfield, and P.J. Walker is still dealing with a high ankle sprain. What does this mean ultimately for D.J. Moore? Because that's the only you know quarterback-dependent piece in this offense. D.J. Moore has finished with yet another terrible um, terrible outing, right? 3.9 fantasy points and half PPR. That's not getting it done. Compare that to last year with Sam Darnold. In 11 games where Darnold played the majority of snaps, DJ Moore averaged 11.6 fantasy points per game. He had six of his 11 games with double digit fantasy points. So obviously he's able to access more of a ceiling. DJ Moore has had a singular game that's top 20 this year. One. One. Just one. So maybe, 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 maybe this is hope for DJ Moore. So am I expecting him to be this explosive wide receiver yet again? No, those aren't my expectations. But what I do believe is that DJ Moore can get into that back end wide receiver two range again. That's what I believe. And that seems to be about the meeting because uh, 11.6 fantasy points last year would have been the wide receiver 24 in half point PPR. So I think this gives a little bit more confidence in DJ Moore going forward as long as Sam Darnold is a starter. Like PJ Walker was getting, uh, getting DJ Moore a 30 plus percent target share. Baker Mayfield down to 21%. So no, I, I think that this is a good thing for DJ Moore and the Panthers.